Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Do not live according to the flesh. What does it mean? If you concentrate on only worldly affairs, your careers, your riches, luxuries, follow all the temptations of the world, computer games, whatever the case is, you heap on riches more than you need, three cars, five TVs in the house, two houses, whatever the case is, then you follow the flesh. All this is not following the heavenly kingdom. The heavenly kingdom is about unity with two and faithful believers and with lifting up the needy, the nameless and faceless. Punkt. There is no discussion about that. You cannot serve two masters. If you start to serve two masters, the world and heaven, then you have to decide. And mostly the decision will go to the world, because this is a much more comfortable path, the broad path. It will give you everything. Riches. All your desires are fulfilled. But they are only the worldly desires that the prince of the air is giving into your head. It is not what you need. But if you walk the narrow, the righteous path, come together in love, unity and support. Walk together with two fellow believers, then you give up your past, you give up the worldly things, and you stand apart, you stand separate from the world. So you come out of the world and out of Babylon, and you're not anymore following your flesh and your worldly desires, your craving for worldly honors. What will it help you if you get a Nobel Prize? What will it help you on your way? To salvation. Nothing. It's a worldly title. It will give you nothing. And if you receive your honors already in this world, then what do you expect to receive in heaven? So stay away from the fleshly things. Stay away from anything that can distract you from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and from the heavenly kingdom. That is TV, that is your PlayStation, that is your mobile phone, that are your friends, that might in some cases even the family. This is definitely your careers and the worldly honors and anything that you try to get. This are any anything in excess. Whatever you have greed for or lust after, this is already this is excess. And when you have this excess then you follow the fleshly desires of this world. And you play into the hands of the prince of the air, Satan, and his evil spirits and his demons that will take you away from the narrow and straight path. But if you give away your old life, you bury your past and you change and you start a new life with trying without sin. I know we are all sinners, but you will try to not do the sins of the past again. Then you walk the narrow path, the path to Mount Zion. And there, at the sixth seal, at the base of Mount Zion, we will be raptured into paradise. And we will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Abba Father forever and ever. So stay away from the fleshly desires of this world. Look in your life. What do you have? Where can you cut it down? Where can you give it up? Then repent. Repent. to repentance about yourself of your sins, to repentance of what you have done in the past, and then change your life. Don't do it again. Walk the new path. Pray daily. Seek the relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and then you will find yourself on the straight and narrow path. Then add to the mix, coming together in assemblies of love and righteousness, in societies of the rose, in love, unity and support. And do a daily sacrifice of love by helping the needy, the nameless and faceless, every day. 
coming together for love meals, coming together to empower one another and then go forth into your neighborhoods and let your light shine. And in this way, you gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. And this is a complete turn from your fleshly desires. I hope you will turn away from from the temptations of this world and what the Prince of the Air is whispering in your ears every day. Think about it. Turn your life right now. Change it to the narrow path. Thank you that you have listened to this topic in our Great Exodus series. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. My beloved brothers and sisters, followers of the past, come together in love, unity and support. Be blessed for this day and I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.